This is not a drill. This is not a drill. Get your fucking <laughs> glasses. I think I'm going to wear my aviators today because, you know, that's what old <laughs> wear. And, uh... YouTube. My cousin hit that yeah. I'm Dayasha. This is not a fucking drill. I so boom. I was just about to record my other videos for the day. Uh, I have a schedule up. If you're on Patreon, you've seen the schedule. So I was getting ready to, you know, do that. I took a break after recording my other videos, and I saw on my homepage Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater official Unreal Engine 5 trailer. It's f Let's look at this trailer. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of these videos. Check out the Patreon and social media. Let's fucking do it. This is not a drill. I will be pausing, okay? I will be pausing. I guess we'll we'll watch the whole thing and then I'll go back and we'll 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 look at it some more. All right, let's do this. Oh, it's, oh, it's Xbox, right. I'm stupid. That's crazy. That is Xbox. The first in-game engine look is from Xbox? All right. Oh, okay. I already see a change that we haven't seen or had in Metal Gear 3. Yeah. We weren't able to do that. Okay. I like that because you're not just pressed against it anymore. Okay. That's the same sound effects. I don't know, man. I'm liking this. It just seems... I'm going to hold my thoughts. <laughs> Yo, look at... Mm. Bro, look at this fucking game. It's not a pachinko machine, bro. Oh my God, look at this area. I have fond memories of that area, bro. That's it? Oh, y'all tickling my fucking <laughs> butt, bro. That's it? That's it. I think we've seen this. Yeah, we saw this already. So let's, let's, let's go back and... Oh! This shit looks so fucking good, bro. Let's all right. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay. First and foremost, this scene. We know this is the beginning. You got to retrieve this pack, right? First of all, this shit looks great. Now, oh my god, look at this. That's clearly mud. Okay, so I want to talk about this, right? Um, first of all, look at the damage. I wonder, like. Here's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's not uh, like this is what our uniform just looks like. The more we like, I mean, I guess we could, tr I guess the more you crawl and shit like that, it should get beat up. But I'm hoping this is like battle damage. You know what I mean? Like I personally like to be clean. So I would probably, I mean, I'm going to go through the game without being spotted, taking damage, all that stuff. I'm going to do that. That's what I always do. But um yeah, I'm hoping that I can go through the game without any sort of like scuffs and shit like that. That would be crazy. So the other thing I want to talk about is I, okay. I remember in Metal Gear Solid 3, it's been a while since I played Metal Gear 3, but I remember you can crouch, right? But the only movements you can do from crouch is prone and stand. That's it, right? So first of all, this is a different type of crouch. He usually just... You know be crouched so and then here first of all can we talk about these fucking mud graphics hold on look at look at the mud falling all right this right here is crazy look at the fucking are you serious right now are you serious right now i can't even i can't even that shit looks crazy but what i was saying here is that we weren't able to you know crouch walk in the, in the old metal gear in metal gear 3 
So this is a welcome addition. They're making this shit modern. You know, like Phantom Pain. This... Oh, fuck. So the other thing I wanted to talk about... Damn, look at the graphics on this man, bro. This nigga is my hero. <laughs> he is my hero. Um, so this, right... I wonder if it's because it, it like, do you have to press a button to get into that mode? Because it looked like he kind of like it was seamless, but it looked like a button prompt. Like in the old Metal Gear, you would just hold forward. Right. But this kind of looks like a button prompt. See, because he kind of like leans in and then the camera confirms. Right. And then here. It's so smooth. Mm -mm -mm. That dude is toast. Well, sleepy time toast, I should say. We all know this area with the B. And then so over here is that secret area. So it's funny that they're they're showing it, right? Um, I think they showed it here too. Yeah, it's right here. So this is where he is. So it's right here. Uh, yeah, man, that secret area. I forgot what was in there. I think it was like bandages. I think it was a uniform and something else. I can't remember. I can't remember what's in there. And then this shit looks... Because before it was like a, right? This shit looks like he grab you up, bro. Look at how smooth this looks. It's like they just improved upon certain things. Ugh. Ugh. And this dude, hmm, I wonder if this is the, but why would he be here? Yeah, this doesn't look right. It looks inverted. So this looks like the area where the beehive is usually up here. The beehive is usually like right up here and then you go across and then the secret area is on the other side because this kind of looks inverted. Like the way I remember it, this hill would be to the left and then you would go to the next area. Um, like you could go around and then down or you can go straight. So it just seems like he went roundabout unless there's some camera trickery here and I'm just dumb. But and then this is where you fight the uh, the pain. And then look, the frogs come back, the Kuropi frogs. Yeah, dog, the frogs come back. They right here. If you go back to the trailer, you probably can't see it here on my screen. But if you go back to the trailer, it's right here. Um, yeah, the frogs are, are back. We got some snakes to eat. And then this area actually looks like um, this area looks like so you could kind of I can't tell if that's it, but you could walk across the wires to get the alligator cap. I think that's what this area is. frogs bro and then this is clearly where um the the end is at the end <laughs> the end is at the end the end you can you can go over there and snipe him um you would typically swim here because there's niggas overhead uh yeah that's clearly what this is right but he looks good and then this is i forget the names of the area so forgive me but because they're in whatever language that is russian um Obviously, this is the brick area where Sokolov is over in this area. This is also where you fight Ocelot and meet uh, Big Mama, Eva. Uh, yeah, because the barrel's up here where you can knock the barrel down and fuck everybody up. But yeah, so this is where you where you meet Ocelot, you meet Big Mama, uh, and then Sokolov is over there. So I think this is the first time you get you you come through here because the second time I think there's an alert. Yeah, there's an alert. So this is the first time you go through here. But I don't remember having the brick uniform at this point in the game. Unless you can come back to certain areas. So now this area here. This area right here. The reason why this area is so like vivid to me is because like when I first played Metal Gear 3, this was the hardest area for me. Because I know on the other side you get the animal patch. I think down here the animal uniform, um, the animal print uniform. And you can make it through, but uh, I when I first was playing Metal Gear, this area was hard for me because there was somebody everywhere to spot you. Um, yeah, and I think that's it. So what I want to do is see if if he's here, hidden. Uh, I don't see him. If he's here, I don't see him. 
that would be a nice touch if he's if snake is somewhere in here but yeah man this is my favorite metal gear of all time and i'm super pumped like i'm so i was not expecting to see this now all i need to see is silent hill 2 information with a release date or gameplay or some shit i wish we could see more gameplay like these teasers are killing me but man this is enough for right now this shit looks so good this shit looks so good Y'all let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of these videos. Check out the Patreon and the social media. And we shall see you in the next one. Oh my God, tell me what you guys think below. Please tell me what you think. This shit looks... Ah, oh, this shit looks so good. All right, I'm out.